Hello everyone, welcome to Business School 101. A retailer is a business or individual that sells products or services directly to consumers, typically for personal user consumption. Retailers act as intermediaries between manufacturers or wholesalers and the end consumers, making products accessible and convenient for the public. In this video, we will explore the eight most common types of retailers that are part of our everyday lives. For each type, we will delve into their distinct characteristics, provide real-world examples, and discuss their unique strategies. Type 1. Department Stores Department stores are large retail establishments that offer a broad range of products across various categories, including clothing, electronics, home goods, and cosmetics. They are often organized into distinct departments or sections, making it convenient for shoppers to find different items under one roof. Examples of department stores include Macy's, known for its wide selection of clothing, accessories, home goods, and cosmetics. Macy's is a classic American department store. Bloomingdale's, a high-end department store offering designer clothing, luxury accessories, and upscale home furnishings. Marketing strategies for department stores include host seasonal sales events and promotions to attract shoppers, collaborate with fashion influencers and designers for exclusive collections, and emphasize customer loyalty programs and rewards for frequent shoppers. Type 2. Discount Stores Discount stores focus on offering products at lower prices, compared to traditional retailers. They achieve cost savings through efficient supply chain management and economies of scale. Examples of discount stores include Number 1. TJ Maxx TJ Maxx is an off-price retail store chain known for offering discounted brand name clothing, home goods, and other products. Number 2. Dollar General A chain of discount stores offering a variety of low-cost items, from household essentials to snacks and cleaning supplies. Marketing strategies for discount stores include Highlight price competitiveness through price matching and everyday low prices messaging. Promote value packs and bulk purchases. And use digital advertising and social media to showcase weekly deals and discounts. Type 3. Supermarkets and Grocery Stores Supermarkets and grocery stores specialize in selling food and related household items. They offer a wide range of products, including fresh produce, meat, dairy, non-perishables, and often include bakery sections and deli counters. Common supermarkets and grocery stores include Number 1. Kroger a prominent U.S. supermarket chain with a diverse selection of groceries and household goods. Number 2. Whole Foods Market. Specializes in natural and organic foods, with an emphasis on health-conscious and environmentally sustainable products. Number 3. Trader Joe's. Known for its private label and unique food offerings, Trader Joe's provides a range of specialty and international foods. Marketing strategies for grocery stores include Focus on quality and freshness in advertising to build trust. Offer digital coupons and loyalty rewards for frequent shoppers. And implement online grocery ordering and delivery services. Type 4. Specialty Stores. Specialty stores focus on a specific product category or niche market. They offer a curated selection of unique or hard-to-find items, often with knowledgeable staff who can provide expert guidance. Here are a few examples of specialty stores. Number 1. Sephora. A cosmetics and beauty retailer that specializes in offering a wide range of skincare, makeup, and fragrance products. Number 2. GameStop. A specialty store catering to gamers, selling video games, consoles, accessories, and collectibles. Number 3. PetSmart. A specialty retailer for pet owners, offering pet supplies, grooming services, and pet adoptions. Marketing strategies for specialty stores include. Leverage niche-specific influencers and bloggers for product endorsements. Create educational content about product usage and benefits. And host in-store events and workshops to engage with the target community. Type 5. Online Retailers, E-Commerce. Online retailers operate exclusively on the internet, providing customers with the convenience of shopping from anywhere at any time. They offer a wide range of products and often use data-driven algorithms to personalize recommendations. Common online retailers include Number 1. Amazon As one of the largest e-commerce platforms globally, Amazon offers an extensive selection of products, from electronics to books, along with services like Amazon Prime for faster shipping. Number 2. eBay 
A popular online marketplace connecting buyers and sellers, eBay allows individuals and businesses to sell both new and used items. Number 3. Alibaba. A Chinese e-commerce giant known for connecting businesses with suppliers, manufacturers, and wholesalers worldwide. Marketing strategies for online retailers include. Optimize the user experience for easy navigation and mobile shopping. Use data-driven personalization to recommend products to customers. And invest in digital marketing, including search engine optimization, SEO, and pay-per-click, PPC, advertising. Type 6. Warehouse clubs and bulk retailers. Warehouse clubs offer products in bulk quantities at discounted prices. Customers typically pay a membership fee to access these deals and buy products in larger quantities. Examples of warehouse clubs include. Number 1. Costco. Known for its membership-based model, Costco offers bulk quantities of groceries, electronics, home goods, and more at competitive prices. Number 2. Sam's Club. A warehouse club retailer similar to Costco, Sam's Club provides a wide range of products in bulk, including electronics, furniture, and automotive supplies. Marketing strategies for warehouse clubs include. Highlight the value of membership benefits, such as exclusive discounts and access to bulk pricing. Promote savings on large quantities through advertising and member newsletters. And create limited time offers and discounts on popular products. Type 7. Convenience stores. Convenience stores, often referred to as C-stores, are small, local shops that emphasize quick and convenient shopping. They typically offer a limited selection of essential items such as snacks, beverages, cigarettes, and everyday necessities. Common convenience stores include. Number 1. 7-Eleven. A well-known convenience store chain offering a wide variety of snacks, drinks, and basic grocery items 24-7. Number 2. Circle K. An international convenience store brand with locations in multiple countries, offering convenience products and fuel. Marketing strategies for convenience stores include. Focus on convenience and 24-7 availability in marketing messages. Promote special deals on popular snacks, beverages, and hot foods. And implement loyalty programs that reward frequent customers. Type 8. Outlet stores. Outlet stores sell discounted or factory seconds of brand name products. They offer value-conscious shoppers the opportunity to purchase quality goods at reduced prices. Here are two examples of outlet stores. Number 1. The North Face Outlet. Offers discounted outdoor clothing and gear from the North Face brand. Number 2. Coach Outlet. Sells discounted luxury handbags, accessories, and leather goods from Coach. Marketing strategies for outlet stores include. Highlight discounts and savings on brand name products. Promote special outlet-only collections or deals. And use email marketing to notify customers of flash sales and clearance events. To sum up, retailers play a crucial role in the economy and are central to the distribution of goods and services to the general public. They can range from small independent boutiques to large multinational corporations, and their success often depends on their ability to understand consumer preferences, adapt to changing market trends, and offer competitive pricing and value. All right, that's all for today's topic. If you have any questions regarding this video, please leave your thoughts in a comment below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.